Good morning to all of you. We are very proud of having a chance to be here. We are delegates from the Gnasium Voicebook, which is located in Bavaria, the more prolific middleman. Our project was about Albert Schweitzer and his request to be for and to reduce the amount of weapons existing in our world. Because of the topics fleeing from war and immigration, we, the music class 9 and the ethic class 10, with our teacher, Dr. Haas, had the idea to describe the fate of the fictitious refugee stranded in Germany. Because of his terrible experiences, he has only one wish, a little bit of peace. We described his case and his wish in our music clip of the same title. The video was shot in Lea and Elba in a refugee camp, which accommodated back then 3,500 refugees. Our project was to express the same wish young refugee had a little bit of peace. In Europa, in the, uh, right Throughout Europe, right-wing populist parties uh, are on the up. Ged Wilders in the Netherlands, Le Marine Le Pen in France, AfD in Germany. So what can we do to stop this trend? How can we reawaken the uh, European spirit in people? Yeah, das ist für mich ein Wesen von Demokratie. For me, this is one of the keys to democracy. And this is something which we have to ad uh, address. We've got the AfD alternative for Deutschland in Germany. They've grown, but the growth seems to be slowing. I think it's wrong for certain regional prime ministers to refuse to debate with these people on television. I think we should be willing to debate with these people and to refute their arguments. But if we simply leave them to get on with it, then we have difficulties. I would add something. In France, the populists are strong, as they are with UKIP in the UK because there are, they, those countries have electoral systems where with 30 or 35 percent of the votes you can get 70 percent of the seats in Parliament. This is completely undemocratic. And populist parties can just snipe from the sidelines, they moan, but they never actually have to take responsibility for what they've said and done. We all know that politics is about compromise. But electoral systems must be set up in such a way as to ensure that people face up to those responsibilities. In the Green Party, for example, we were marginalized, but we then focused on environmental protection. And our presence in Parliament in Germany meant that the other parties too were obliged to start talking about the environment. Obviously, we have to address integration, and I think all of you here today are the best example. Or you are Ismail. Ismail isn't a German name, but you're part of Germany. I used to teach in a school in Cologne in Germany where more than half the children uh, originally came from other countries. And the best pupil when I was a teacher there was a pupil from Turkey. Our schools are full of fantastic examples of integration, of what we can do. And thanks to people such as you, we've got a fantastic future together. And thank you for coming from Germany today. I want to say, how long do you think uh, the euro will last for other members of the EU? Well, as the Green Party, we always said what we need is solidarity and solidity. And if we're able to have that if we able to show solar solidarity with with greece in a crisis but if we also show solidity then the euro will um have a chance for the future but i have to give you an example the uh, greek ship owners are the millionaires who don't pay any taxes well what about the old age pensioners they're the ones who have to pay tax and they have been have had their pensions cut they've had they live in great uh, precarity but uh, i think it's terrible to make the small people responsible 
And, but that was a, a decision by the Greek government. They could have said, oh, let's make the ship owners, let's make the shipbuilders. Uh, uh, they should be the ones who have to pay taxes. Or people who have um, you know, a lot of uh, property, they are the ones uh, who should pay taxes. I was very disappointed by this, uh, uh, dis uh, by this uh, decision of the Greek government, uh, they, uh, coalition of the, of the left wing, I would have liked to have seen those uh, who could have paid more should have paid more, and that it wasn't uh, only the small and the the uh, the people who had little money who had to pay. But I mean, we have to look at the uh, mistakes that were made on uh, on all uh, on all sides. I don't think the EU can be blamed for everything. Well, thank you. I'd like to thank you very much. As a teacher, I haven't been teaching now for some time, but I have to say it was a great pleasure to participate here. And I always said to my uh, students, uh, one intelligent question is much better than ten stupid answers. Uh, I've heard almost entirely intelligent questions today. And I hope that I was up to scratch in the answers I gave you. So thank you very much, and I hope you have a very good prospect for the future.